Our story begins with Batman, wait sorry Daredevil, falling unconscious in a church. But before we get to that, it's flashback time. We see young Matt Murdock get bullied by well bullies. And he's bullied about his father, Jack Murdock, working for a crime boss known as Fallon. No, not that one. But his father denies it and convinces Matt to study hard. And as Matt goes to show him a report card of his straight A's, he sees his father work for Fallon and Matt runs away before crashing into some radioactive liquid, blinding him. His father then decides to live a life away from crime and takes care of his son whilst winning boxing fights. But it turns out that all of the fights were fixed by Fallon so that he can work for Fallon again. And he was told to lose the fight, but instead Jack had won anyways, which Fallon obviously did not like. And as Matt waits for his father, Fallon then jumps Jack and then a mysterious figure delivers the killing blow and he drops a flower. Jump ahead a few years and we see Matt and Happy, wait sorry, Matt and Foggy work a case which they lose, but at least they get the satisfaction of serving the innocent for free. And then in the night, Daredevil suits up and seeks justice and he hunts down the criminal who just got off scot free and he accidentally kills him. We then see a reporter named Uruk pull up to the crime scene and he seems to be writing about a mysterious kingpin but he doesn't know that the kingpin is in fact Wilson Fisk. Matt then meets and pretty much instantly falls in love with this woman who won't reveal her name until the two fight in a park. We find out her name is Electra and the two hit it off instantly. Meanwhile her father Nicholas tries to pull out a business deal with kingpin so Fisk then hires Bullseye to take him out. Bullseye is an Irish hitman who never misses and has a massive target on his head. Like literally has a target on his head. Matt then goes to this fancy dinner where he sees Electra but their romance is cut short as Nicholas is made aware of the plot to kill him by the kingpin himself. Daredevil then arrives to fight Bullseye but is blinded sort of by an explosion and one of the batons kills Nicholas and Electra fires shots at Daredevil as Bullseye escapes. She thinks that Daredevil was the one who killed her father. Then at the funeral she goes to Matt and vows to take revenge for her father's murder and trains to some epic music. Meanwhile, Uruk realizes that Matt is in fact the daredevil after noticing the fact that the baton that killed Nicholas is actually the cane used by Matt. Bulza is then told by Fist to hunt down and kill Electra and he asks for a super suit. Where is my super suit? Matt has then tracked down what seems to be Bullseye but it's actually an angry Electra and the two fight before Matt is unmasked and she finds out the truth. Bullseye then arrives and fights Electra but sadly ends up killing her. Meanwhile an injured Matt fights Bullseye before dropping him into a church where the film began. He gets kinda healed by the priests before the two face off and fight each other on the massive organ. Bullseye realizes that Daredevil's weakness is sound and blasts him with sound and tells him that Fisk kills his father and this does it. Matt then gains the upper hand and throws Bullseye into Uruk's car and he gets arrested. Matt then confronts Fisk and the two fight before Matt uses water and sonar to gain the upper hand against Fisk but he doesn't kill him, instead saves him for the sequel that never happened. Fisk threatens to expose Matt's secret identity but Matt says that it's more embarrassing for Fisk if he says that he was beaten by a blind man and Matt leaves. Matt then finds Electra's necklace which actually has her name engraved in braille and perhaps she might actually be alive. Uruk then writes an article exposing Daredevil's secret identity but decides against publishing it and instead waves to Matt outside his building. Then in the post credit scene we see Bullseye kill a fly whilst he's still in hospital. Subscribe and comment below your favourite part of the movie.